from a long slumber Heart pumping sounded like loud thunder Rising from my bed feeling stronger than Paul Bunyan A gush of wind hits my cheek In a blink of an eye unveiling hidden history It's the awakening And now chemical sacred state within Came from sin on my path to straight like light from a lace pen uh, Used to focus on all that negative Psychological war now pieces my medicine Pulling back the covers that jump from the mattress Face to face with destiny finding law of attraction Now life is changing and I'm awakened from hibernation Raging like a grizzly bear coming from out the cave I'm saying I'm feeling so alive, fell asleep but I Singers at concerts, feeling honored like actor scholars receiving Oscars instead of vodka sipping water. Welcome home, hero. This is it. This is the video you've been waiting your whole life for. Why? Because I'm about to drop the two most important pieces of intel ever to hit this planet. Seriously, I'm going to do number one and two because they're tied for first. Stick around and I will prove this point out. Everything that I say is going to be about you, and quite possibly, it's going to sound too good to be true. I assure you, everything that I say is backed up in either hard science or 13 years of experience. What I'm about to tell you about you is in fact so good, it legitimately could occur as too good to be true. So to set your mind at ease, know that I will never be charging you a fee for this service. There will be no paywalls. All programs will be delivered for free and actually have you leave encouraged to be sharing them as freely as possible. Because the first piece of information you need to hear about yourself is knowing how smart you actually are. So what I'm going to do is prove to you just how smart you are. Think of a supercomputer that takes up two tennis courts of space. Your brain is mathematically a million times more powerful than that supercomputer. Your mind is a million times more powerful than a supercomputer. Your mind is a million times more powerful than a supercomputer. Your mind is a million times more powerful than a supercomputer. Your mind is a million times more powerful than a supercomputer. I kept reiterating that because that way it programs deeper into your core consciousness because I really do want you to water that seed of thought that I just dropped in your noggin <laughs> because once you fully wrap that big beautiful mind of yours around it, it literally unlocks a whole new life for you because now you know you can do anything. Your brain is literally a million times more powerful than a supercomputer. That's who you actually are as a thinker. Okay, and folks, that's all hard science. Like, that's just facts. No one argues that. So all of that horsepower is hidden in the subconsciousness. That is where the magic is. Simply speaking out loud manually engages the power of your subconscious mind as a secondary drive. Yep, that'll sound too good to be true. So I'll have you learn some skills that you don't think you can do. And you'll unlock them super fast because you have upgraded your operating system. You know how the built-in voice recognition system works. That entire program is called Kong Flow. You should start with a Bostaff Yo, much better teaching tool. However, the skills you learn will translate super fast to this Waylighter, which is a sword built specifically for spinning. 
It is balanced, tuned, designed, so much IP in order to make this thing flow freely. And this is where we get into the second most important piece of intel you will ever hear about yourself. This is where it gets wild, folks. You are going on a ride. I'm just going to go ahead and flat out say it, and then at the end, I'll use numbers once again to prove it to you, my friend. So, about a billion of you on this planet right now are about to find out that you are actually, in fact, an Earth Angel. As in an incarnated Earth Angel. You were possibly born before matter. You are a huge power player in the combat arena. The big boom batter. Oh yeah, you're unbeatable there because you're just literally one of the first beings in creations. And this is going to be true for so many of you folks. Like hundreds of millions, easily. Oh, that one I bet money on. I bet a steak dinner on that one. So that's a lot at stake. So here's how I know this. A bunch of my friends and I had experiences where we woke up as angels. And we all kept quiet about it because we all thought we were going delusional AF. But then I started having more and more synchronicities. Something supernatural was forcing me to pay attention to the number 27 and 11. But what I found is that hundreds of millions of people all across the world were also Google searching, why do I keep seeing the number 1111? I got 400,000 results back in about 2007. And that blew my mind because it actually all adds up. All you have to do is track the etymology of the word, the origin source, which is in the Norse, and the word 11 literally translates straight to angel. So everyone who's seeing 1-1 one, one, or 11-11 11, 11, or 127 or 333, 222, two, two, whatever occurs to you, you, you. Anyone seeing number strings is some sort of an intergalactic class badass. I'm not kidding in the slightest. I have actually been trying to get you this information for about 10 years now. That's when I wrote the Digital Red Pill explaining that the reason why everyone was seeing the number 1111 is because that was the other side guides, your higher selves, beneficial angels, trying to give you something supernatural enough to wake you up, but without shocking you into insanity. It's a tricky tricky tightrope, my friends, but they did it brilliantly because so many of us have had absolutely supernatural level occurrences of everything that's being handed to me today has 1111 on it. Receipts, table numbers, tires, like what is going on here? So again, folks, that is your operators in the tanks in the matrix trying to help get through to you to help you remember who you are. So many of you are gonna find out you are exactly what we would consider angels. Under that umbrella term, so many millions of you are going to find out that you were one of an order of actual ancient Egyptian Jedi. I worked on this exact sword for about five years, labored day and night in order to make it move right and shine light and that was years, 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 folks, to get it to do all this affordably and cheaply. So imagine my surprise when I find out this exact same shape is already carved all over ancient Egypt by people called the Jedi? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, folks, seriously, that's what I went through. So this will prove true about you. You are a reincarnated Jedi Knight, which means you might not be an angel, 
but you were a human who made it to the highest level you can be as a protector, well, superhuman, in this lifetime. So know that for many of you, that will be true. So if you're not holding angel codes, you may very well could have been a Jedi here in ancient Egypt or from some star system we've never even heard of. That will prove true for so many of you. So if you go over to Odyssey, you will see all the posts where I explain exactly what's going on and exactly what we, the people of America, can do simply unifying together in a new party themed on angels and Jedi. All the psychology stacks up, folks. I've made this work several times. Rockefellers made sure it didn't work. They cannot stop a feller now, and they're frankly terrified of me. So we'll talk about that more over on Odyssey. Yeah, you ought to see what's over there, folks, because you're going to find out a billion people on the planet are intergalactic class, master class badasses. <laughs> Seriously. So even if you're 300 pounds and stuck to your sofa, spatula yourself up, get spinning, you'll get in shape, you'll be beautiful again, and we will all be able to party as we use intelligent action to overthrow the deep state from a distance. Yep, these things are easy, folks. They've been solved for the better part of a decade. So come on over to Odyssey and please let me explain this to you. Okay, this will all prove true and you will never be charged. And all that I ask is your help finding the others. Seriously, go through the, go through the message, go through the content, tell people about this. And then as far as Christmas, you can make a fast staff, which is PVC and foam and duct tape. And that's great for Kung Flow. Frankly, you should start on the staff. If you want to really get good from the exact pyramid building block system, start with a staff. Massively better learning tool. And really all you need is a broomstick. So uh, you can create cool looking staffs and I'll give you the designs on Odyssey. And you can give these as gifts to bored kids and you they will literally be outside in the backyard spinning sticks all day long. And if they drop them, it doesn't matter because these are super durable. This is not your father's <laughs> lightsaber. No, your father's lightsaber can't do that in, in real life. Ours can. So... If you are able to get a polycarbonate blade, give it to a kid and then help him order the grips and the other parts. And pretty soon he'll be able, she'll be able to, they'll be able to assemble their very own waylighter and have a blast learning how to spin it while getting in a workout. If you're stuck in a small apartment, you might be uh, better off learning with the waylighter because then you can take time to go slow and carve in perfect tracks for the infinity spin so that you've got all that muscle memory programmed in so that when you're outside and it's safe and you want to, you can whip it up into hyperspeed. And oh man, I gotta tell you, this is fun. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this is just, you know, it's nice. It's a really protective space in here. You just, you just know no one's coming in. You get a moment to breathe. Just enjoy the time alone. But also, yeah, it's just super fun. And so you get there by going slow, as always. So, please help me figure out how to get this word out to as many people as possible because it will prove true. Please become the marketing team somehow. Get this snowball rolling into hell because we will create an avalanche so big it'll put hell out. Literally, figuratively, metaphoratively, all of that. And we can do it with this sort. So uh, if you want to order, there's a company called Inline Plastics in Riverside, California. And they said they could make uh, 1,100, their number, not mine. They said that they could make 1,100 for like two grand. So, you know, that's just their minimum order. There is something big in the forest, whatever. So you could probably get 1100 for two grand. 
and then these once once this catches on like what this will spark i won't stop until it's done then these blades as the initial rush comes in and the demand has to be met the blades become commodities and they are a lot more fun when they're lit up they really are so but you can also like i said make one out of just straight grips in pvc and use the shaft collar and then you can actually take all that stuff off when you get a blade you want to be learning during the day anyway much harder to do this stuff at night when you can't see black grip against black knight speaking of black knights tired of those people uh let's angel up over on odyssey and you really ought to see what's over there i'm going to prove to you that you're an angel and or a jedi so thank you for your time i really just just know that this is all very true and i'm going to need your help getting this message out Please reach out to anyone, journalists, whatever, make this go viral. I will explain all the angel numbers over on Odyssey. Get anyone and everyone who's awake and aware and brave. And let's take our power back. This is totally a thing we can do, by the way. So I love you so very dearly. Come on over and meet your soul family on Odyssey. We're going to be building a community. It'll be great. The internet will be fun again. I awoke from a long slumber Heart pumping sounded like loud thunder Rising from my bed feeling stronger than Paul Bunyan A gush of wind hits my cheek In a blink of an eye unveiling hidden history It's the awakening And now chemical sacred state within Came from sin on my path to straight like light from a laser pen uh, Used to focus on all that negative Psychological war now peace is my medicine Pulling back the covers that jump from the mattress Face to face with destiny finding love of attraction now life is changing and i'm awakening from hibernation raging like a grizzly bear coming from out the cave i'm saying i'm feeling so alive fell asleep but i Singers at concerts, feeling honored like actor scholars receiving Oscars instead of vodka, sipping water, kombucha, and kava. Assalamu alaikum to the older soprano macabre. Yeah. Why I walk around blind, ignorant to truth? End up crooked like a smile with a missing tooth. Playing with fire, yo, you're bound to get burnt. There's a bigger purpose while we all came down to this earth. Let's just elevate consciousness in every metropolis from the poor and impoverished to the over. Whether Christian, Muslim, or Hindu, gotta live in love to get through. Taking off like rocky few missiles, it's official. I'm saying, I'm feeling so alive, fell asleep, but I. No momentary bliss Food for the soul A spiritual culinary dish To dream it Rising up from the ash He's a phoenix I'm a match She can't see You know she gonna burn down everything She an arsonist In her pastime And I've been burned for the last time
Oh, shit. <laughs>